Hey guys, AlphaStar716 here. Now recently Animal Crossing New Horizons came out and we already have a ton of different islands that people are coming up with. From islands created from Japanese culture to um other creations. There are many types of islands out there. Most islands, however, have one of these types of people customizing their island. Without further ado, let's describe some of these people. The Meme Lord. Now, the Meme Lords are one of the people that you feel are either creating things that are beyond this realm, either better or worse, or they're the people who you feel like should never own an island in their life ever again. I'm betting $10 that at least 85% of all Meme Lords are guys from the age of 13 to... 24. I went to a friend's island and saw that half of his island in addition to his house was loaded with freaking toad faces and I was freaking scared for my life. Me and some other friends kind of destroyed their island after her by covering up in holes, but hey, in my opinion, we were freaking justified. Look at this absolutely beautiful island with awe-inspiring nature and an awesome landscape that I can't wait to add to. Speaking of landscape, let's do that right now! Alright, with this Animal Crossing pattern tool website, I feel more powerful than ever before. I see some Jotaro stuff down there. I can never have too much Jojo, man. Never too much. We also need a beach protector, a form of Coast Guard for our beautiful island. With this, no one will dare threaten the tranquility of our calm island. And also, maybe no one will come to the island, period, good or bad. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Strong Toad. We could put a bit of Pog Champ around my favorite villager, Samson's house. My boy's getting them gains inside, so he deserves this. Samson, please never exit your house again if you'd like to not see what I've done to your yard. He'll freaking excommunicate me off this island, and I'm the representative. I bought this game for $60. To finish off, let's create a nice little art showcase as a welcome to the island since Blathers doesn't want to have these in his museum. There we go. Welcome to Blob Lodge, folks! The Exhibitor. The Exhibitors are the people who spend countless hours catching every single thing that they can. They breed different types of flowers, they show off the rare and expensive animals that they have, they show off all the different fruit trees that they've acquired, and that's just the start. I like to think I have a lot of things until I see what these Exhibitors freaking have. Why, hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'd like to share with you my excellent findings from the past couple of days. I don't time travel being the honest Exhibitor that I am, it's a shame that people are speeding up time to get their items faster. Huh. Totally not jealous or anything. But in the back room here, I have some of my most precious creatures. We got the amazing cola cans to the sides and these tarantulas. I gave them their own little dark room so the tarantulas can think about what they've done to me while I was trying to catch them. All the bites, all the bells that I lost because you didn't want to get in the net. And of course, the king of all fish, the one, the only Orphit. Huh. Well, time to be half a million bells in debt to give this blasted thing some extra space. I was gonna put some fossils in here too, man. Not like those take up too much space or anything. The Minigame Lover. These are the people who love to optimize their island for the best minigame experience ever. From reshaping the landscape to crafting the materials necessary to play, the Minigame Lovers enjoy optimizing their island for their visitors. Alrighty, just destroyed half my tree population, but I think I finally got enough wood for musical chairs. I also got my museum built up for things like hide and seek as well. I can clear this area out for a little design contest. Half the designs being pretty good, and the others just being freaking Nay Nay Baby or some crap. This is the last area, but this can be a cool fashion show location. I can maybe build some torches around here and everything. This will look like a freaking initiation by the time I'm done with it. Jeez, coming up with mini games is so fun, but so dang time consuming. The Creative Enthusiast. These are the players who are in love with making the town look as amazing as possible. Whether by time traveling or normal means, they have unlocked most or all of the ways that you can customize your island, including things like fences and bridges. They're the type to have a masterful flag and a real good eye for good island layout. Another day at this beautiful island. It's really thoughtful that Nintendo gives us games like this where we can let our own imagination roam absolutely wild. From the bamboo trees to the rows of flowers and fruit trees welcoming you to this island, I try to give off my best impression to the island of blah blah Absolutely amazing. The perfect song for the perfect town. I may or may not have watched this certain movie like three times, which inspired me to have this song. I can put a nice, beautiful brick bridge here. My desire to create new things on this island is limited by only two things, my imagination and Tom Nook's greedy capitalist agenda. Between a bridge and a house, I am five minutes away from selling my soul away to this terrible, torturous Tanuki terrorizer. The Hoarder. Wait, this is basically me with my house. The hoarders are the people who make sure they show off every single item they 
have. From the present balloons to the gifts from other villagers to the things they buy, they try to show off as many of their goodies as possible. I'm partially in this category myself though. Alright guys, so this is my home. I got so many goodies and creatures, so I want to make sure that I show them off to everyone. This is the outside where I got tons of cool hammocks and tables and creatures and other stuff too. And just wait till you see the inside. The inside is filled to the brim with furniture that you typically need. I still have a teeny tiny amount of space remaining to put one last thing though. Perfect. And those are five types of Animal Crossing New Horizons decorators. If you've been watching me for a while, you can tell that this format is similar to my Splatoon 2 stereotypes videos. I try to keep a familiar feel between this and the other series. What type of villager are you? Let me know in the comments, and remember to subscribe to Star 716 for more content on Animal Crossing and other things gaming. See you all next time. You saw nothing, Samson. You saw absolutely nothing.